Hey guys, welcome back to Mike's American Dream. This isn't my normal setting. I'm sat on the sofa. I had a long, long day at work. But um, if this is the first time you guys are watching this channel, um, I'm. this will eventually have a lot of vlogs on it purely because we're moving to the US. So once we get to the US, I'm going to want to show you everything that I've discovered, everything that I've learned. And there'll be so much excitement around it. It'll be less about me talking at you, if that makes sense. Um, if this is the first time you guys are on this channel, this is Mikey's American Dream. And me and my beautiful fiance are moving to the United States here on January 6th. Um, so we are getting ready for that. And um, this is the process of us moving. This is us showing you everything we can possibly show you of what it's like for a British guy to move to the US, a British couple to move to the US, and exactly what it's like and the entire process, what we discover, what, what excites us and all that stuff. So if you haven't already, like this video and subscribe to the channel. And um, I have compiled a um, a short um, sort of compilation of what we got up to in our last trip to the US. We were in Florida because initially we were planning on moving to Florida, but actually Texas uh, came out on top for us. We got both got jobs in Texas. So this is what we got up to a couple months ago back in Florida. So enjoy the video. And guys, I'll see you in the next one. Don't forget to like and subscribe and check out my other channels as well. Links down below in the description of this video. We went to this ice cream shop just here. It was so good, mm. wasn't it? Yeah, and there's a there's a little uh, there's a candy store. So around there, you look you you go in, and like when you see like the old movies set in like the sixties, yeah. it's exactly how you imagine it. Absolutely amazing. Absolutely amazing. It's a really really beautiful little town. You can tell it's quite a market now, though. Do you know what I mean? I think yeah, a lot of like independent yeah. shops, but like homeware and. I mean, I've never seen it before, but it's definitely been gentrified over the years. You can see that like, they've got shops like uh, selling like, old this, cinema there. It's Pottery Barn. Yeah, specialist wines and stuff like that. And we went into we went into a store, and I went to go buy a um, like a, a sleeveless jacket to go over like one of my shirts. And it looked like it should be about fifty dollars, and it was nine hundred and fifty dollars, and it wasn't branded or anything. No. I understand why. It looked like the same one in Bass Pro Shops that was like seventy dollars. Yeah, right. One hundred percent. We went. Oh, we were, I was going to buy like a Redhead Ranch. It's called Redhead Ranch, the brand, seventy. But then I saw one from Wrangler for like forty dollars. But this, uh, nine fifty for something. Okay, fine. It was reversible. One side was leather. One side was like a puffer jacket kind of thing. It's the same but thing though, wasn't 950. it? Nine fifty. It's ridiculous. Yeah. We're not actually going back to the hotel. We're going um, no, you're right. we're not. to Denny's. Denny's. Yeah, we only ate breakfast this morning. We made. We managed to make it from McGriddle this morning. <laughs> Love a McGriddle. Yeah. See you at Denny's. You're disgusting. Right in the open. Free game. Beware. Feed you to the alligators. Approach would be to punch it in the nose. No, you, you smack it head the Works. Just... Well, they got flip flops, does that work? Huh? And what's your excuse? Stamp on it.
got to cross the air up the front desk. Don't leave this property without doing it. You can't have your cover or a coat in Westgate only. Stop here. Well, can we call it? Thank you. 